here. Welcome back to EM All Access. This is Joe English, and we're at Event Tech in Las Vegas. Really cool show, lots of great technology. It took us until day two to talk about robotics. <laughs> and uh, I'm joined this morning by Jason Baker from FedEx, who you did a really cool event that was uh, centered around robotics. Why don't we talk about it? Tell me, tell us what the event was and, sure. and how you got involved. Yeah, so uh, just a short amount of background. FedEx has a relationship with First Robotics Organization, mm -hmm. which is uh, for inspiration and recognition of science and technology. It's mm -hmm. a high school and middle school aimed competition for students to really enhance their STEM uh, profile and, and abilities. So STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. Mm -hmm. It's a first robotics is a robot building competition. Mm -hmm. Think kind of robot wars, but friendlier. Uh -huh. um, so FedEx, in, as part of our corporate social responsibility strategy and our education platform, we sponsor first through donations, through in-kind shipping. Mm -hmm. And uh, since 2002, we've been a, an in-kind uh, donator of about a million dollars a year shipping mm -hmm. of the robot parts or the finished pieces to championships in St. Louis. Mm -hmm. So you're getting the robots there. Yep. We're getting the robots getting there home. and getting them home yeah. safely, mm -hmm. which is a big deal. That is big. Uh, very important. These are the kids' babies. You know, They've worked on this all year, and, yeah. and they make the championships. So we've been doing this for years, but we, we felt like we weren't really getting a lot of engagement um, because we weren't talking about it a whole lot, and, and it was hard to be relevant in this competition. FedEx is an innovative company. We have lots of science and technology and engineering jobs. Mm -hmm. um, we're very relevant in that space, but we, we just didn't feel like we were getting across to the students and really making an impact during their championships in St. Louis in April every year. Um, so we created this, uh, this gamification program through social media uh, that we activated through Twitter and Instagram. And we essentially reached out to all the students and said, um, all the, the teams, mm -hmm. and said, well, we're introducing the FedEx Innovation Challenge. Act, uh, you can participate by, it's kind of a scavenger hunt. It's kind of a half scavenger hunt, half trivia, um, half. So you've got three halves, but uh, half um, social media fun. Okay. These teams are broken into little business units. So they've got their engineers, they've got their um, you know designers, their yeah. coders and all this, but they also have marketers and uh -huh. social media leads. So this was a perfect way to get um, them active in, in the social discussion. So our, uh, our innovation challenge asked the, the students to submit photos of, and responses to Twitter and Instagram using the existing OMG Robots hashtag, which okay. is the, the, the conversation that already exists mm -hmm. with First Robotics, and the FedEx hashtag. Okay. So we didn't want to create a new hashtag here. Mm -hmm. um, they've already got their conversation base. Yeah. OMG Robots is where the kids go to, to talk about this. And we're fortunate with FedEx to have a pretty short hashtag, so we could we could afford to reach out to these really really bright students and say you've got to use two hashtags to, to compete in this uh, competition. Mm -hmm. And the prize was um, a five thousand and ten thousand ten thousand dollar grant to the winning teams. Mm -hmm. So they were very motivated. They yeah. these teams understand that um, that the money that they raise would go to their team for future competitions mm -hmm. and for robot parts and things like that. So we. Um, we activated on that and uh, saw tremendous engagement. We, so we went from almost nothing to uh, FedEx was actually trending as a hashtag in the St. Louis area for two and a half days during the competition. That's amazing. That's we never great. would have seen that yeah. before uh, just based on the volume. Mm -hmm. you know, there are about 500 teams that are, that are there and each team has 20 plus students plus mentors and mm -hmm. sponsors and these are you know, these are very, very uh, bright students. These are MIT bound and RIT bound and you know Stanford bound students who are talking about FedEx on their social channels. They're going on their Twitter and their Instagram followers and talking about us and engaging with us in this competition. It was just fantastic. Yeah. So, so you've got them working to promote your brand, which mm -hmm. is great. What, what do, what are these kids learning about FedEx as, the, as it comes out of this? What, what's the result for sure. you? Yeah. They see, they see FedEx as um, uh, a destination of choice, an employer of choice okay. for science, technology, engineering, math jobs. Right. They. They gained an understanding. As, as we gave the questions and challenges, we, we sprinkled in lots of nuggets about FedEx. Yeah. Um, we, we didn't go with a sales forward message mm -hmm. or, or anything like that. We just wanted to add some trivia. 
um, things like uh, the fact that FedEx employs a crew of uh, meteorologists yeah. full time mm -hmm. to help us get our fleet managed around the world. We have um, you know hundreds of aircraft sure. that are in the air constantly. Uh -huh. So the meteorology job is something that people don't look at FedEx and think that, but that's a science job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the logistics, uh, moving logistics, all these obviously trucks and packages piece, and you know, right? warehousing and design yeah. and the belts yeah. and the systems and the hubs and all this. There are lots of those jobs. And so we felt like after this competition, we had sprinkled enough of those nuggets throughout um, our challenges that they understood that there were lots of, of math and calculations and things that were involved in what we do. And we're not just um, the guy that, that, that one touch point of the guy that hands you the package. There's a lot that goes on behind that. Yeah, well, that's really cool. It's a great way to reach a new audience. Yeah. Uh, congratulations on that. And Thanks. We're going to let you go. Uh, Ventech uh, has been a great show for us, and uh, we'll be back with some more interviews. Uh, so watch again on EM All Access. Thanks a lot for joining us.